Hi, good morning. My name is Sharon Birch, and I'm here today to share with you what is your nursing genius. So, I don't know if you are stressed or have been stressed or ever will be stressed in the future, but if so, uh, what I'm going to share with you today will help you learn an, a new tool uh, to help you live your most natural and flowing life. And this tool is based on the ancient Chinese I Ching. So there is a PDF handout that goes with this workshop, and I'd like you to print it if you can um, while I'm talking so that you have it to take notes on and to refer to later. So I'm doing this um, focus because I want to remember that nurses can contribute to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And that is a big focus in my practice. I'm a community health nurse and holistic nurse coach. And so I want to remind you about these goals and to remind you to think about what do, what you are doing in your practice and which goals it contributes to. Um, and so I hope that this uh, little presentation about discovering your genius can can link in your mind to helping you be more effective in helping our larger goals. Because if, you know, if we want to change the world, we want to start with ourself, don't we? So let's, oh, excuse me. Okay, well, I had set this slide up to be, um, only display one line at a time, but for some reason when I'm, it's connected with this recording program, it's not letting me do that. So you'll see all of it at once. I, um, that's okay. It's, it's a fun little exercise. So if you would, please take out a piece of paper and a pencil or, or draw something to draw with and draw something that looks like a potato and then draw a circle in the middle. And you can see my little uh, sketch here. And then you're going to put a couple legs on the bottom um, and a couple antennas on the top. Okay. And so this is actually not uh, representing a potato. It's actually representing a little radio. Okay. With radio frequencies coming in. And I want to share with you that our brains are like state of the art radios. Okay. We receive we receive information not only through our five senses, but also through opening up to energetic, uh, to energies. And we can tune the reception of our brain radio like we can tune a, radio, a, a standard radio f to receive different channels of or frequencies of energy. So, um, uh, this is important because if we are not just like on a radio, if we are somewhere between channels, we're going to hear a lot of static. And but if we get squarely tuned into, you know, clearly tuned into a channel that we like and that is um, energizing to us and har harmonious with our natural energy. It is going to increase our energy, help us be focused and in flow. Okay. And this being focused in our natural energy is a, a really important thing to do to decrease friction in our life and stress. Okay. Um, if let's say, for instance, if we really groove on a particular type of music, let's say, well, think about the kind of music that you really like and that helps you feel at peace and at ease and in flow. And then think about how you feel if you're around some other music that is, is disruptive to your, your energy and your focus and think about how difficult that is. It's not only uncomfortable, but it's actually difficult to do your best in that situation, isn't it? So it's the same way in terms of in life. There are, 
we each have a natural blueprint of energy that functions best in for certain activities and in certain environments. And when we can identify our natural energetic blueprint, then we can steer our choices in our life to be in positions and environments where that support our natural energy and bring out the best in us. So um, that's what the rest of this uh, little class is going to be about. I'm having a little trouble with my technology. Can't, there we go. I got my slide to advance. So what I'm about to share with you is based on personality theories as well as energy. And let's take a look at some of the major personality theories in the Western world. These primarily started with Sigmund Freud in the 20s and then were developed by Carl Jung and and then additionally developed in the humanistic uh, psychology area with Maslow and Rogers and then in traits psychology and cognitive and behavioral psychology. Okay. Um, and now, in addition to those Western theories that you've probably heard of some of those theorists and their theories, there's also a whole world of Eastern personality theories that are energy based. Uh, we know a lot about the Ayurvedic system and the tra traditional Chinese medicine system. Um, we know a lot less unless we're in a tribal culture. We probably know a lot less about those uh, energy based personality theories. Um, but we are, can be pretty sure that most long standing um, cultures around the world, all parts of the world, had energy based systems for understanding people and what brought out the best in people and what were challenging for people. So here's an example of an energy based system from Japan and this is called Ikigai and Ikigai roughly means your reason for being. Okay. And that's, that's about as profound as it gets in my book. And um, so our reason of being in this system, um, we find that by looking at what we are good at, what we love, what the world needs, and then in the case of your career, what you could be paid for. Okay. And you can see with these overlapping spheres on the screen, uh, from those four spheres emerges our mission, our profession, and then where they all come together and overlap is our reason for being or our Ikigai. So that was the Japanese system, a Japanese system. And here's a picture of a Chinese system. This is an ancient one based on the I Ching. And if you've ever studied the I Ching or Feng Shui uh, or traditional Chinese medicine, this all would look familiar to you. And it's based on the five elements of, uh, and you can see four of them are represented by this square. We have wood, fire, earth, metal, and the fifth is water. Okay. And so in this system, water is considered in sort of flowing throughout all of the others. Um, and the system creates eight trigrams and the combine all the combinations of those eight trigrams creates 64 different vectors. <laughs> you don't have to get worried of, you know, are hung up about in the detail about that. You know, if you're really interested in that detail, it's easy to, to Google it and find out more. But the, the gist of that is that at any moment there is a natural path to take that our energy can flow, be in flow with. Okay. And so when people master what their energy is, 
they can more often be in a flow where they're doing their best, things feel effortless, timeless, and they're very at ease and uh, brilliant, honestly, brilliant in what their gifts are. So when we're not in our genius, or you could think of as our natural energy, those terms could be interchangeable, our life feels harder, okay? And and it's, it's, um, it, it's hard to stay current, it's hard to keep up, it's hard to be in happy relationships, uh, just our overall quality of life is less. When we are in our natural energy and in flow, then we can move quicker, lighter and uh, and more radiantly, okay, have a more vibrant life. So I bet you'd like to know how to be in flow or how to at least know what your natural energy is. And I'm this is the tool that I promised to share with you. You can use your phone and point it at this um, square, I forget what that QR code thing, or you can type in this URL that you see on the screen. Either one will take you to a free test. It takes about 10 minutes or less to take the little test. And so I'd like you to just go ahead and do that and find out what your genius is. And then we'll use that in the rest of this little workshop. Okay. So, um, if you want to try using the QR code, if you haven't done that before, you just simply take your phone, have the camera on, point it at the um, QR code there, that square, and it will take you right to the website. Or you can type in the URL that you see there. Okay, And then go ahead and take the little test. And I will just uh, wait here for you. And when you find out which of the energies you are, please type it in the chat. I won't be able to see it until I'm, well, I'll be able to see it when I'm live there with you, but I can't see it now, of course, because this is a recording. We'll give you still a few more minutes. Go ahead and type in this URL or use the QR code and go to the test. And then when you have your energy identified, um, type it in the chat. And this will also, when you complete this test, you'll also receive a little PDF document that gives you more information about your energy than what I'm going to give in the workshop today. And it will give you uh, a link to get more information about how to use your, use your energy and develop your energy. So you still have time to take the test. I'm still going to allow a couple more minutes. And when you've identified your energy, go ahead and share in the chat which of the four, there are going to be four 
primary energies that uh, you might be one of any of those four and please just type it in could be dynamo blaze tempo or steel so type one of those in let us know your energy And you still have about a minute left. And winding up, go ahead and if you haven't yet, put your um, your energy, the name of your energy profile in the chat. And even if you're not quite done, when I move on, that's okay. Go ahead and finish up. <clears throat> Okay, so let's look at this. I'm going on the left. You see, <clears throat> I've put the um, I Ching um, grant, uh, image there of the trigrams, the hexagrams. I mean, and then the um, on the right is the genius profile the, um, image of how that the same. This is the same energy, but it's depicted in more of a modern form that like what we use today and it's um let's let's kind of look at this uh so at the top is dynamo that energy is wood and it's also the spring and it's very creative okay and intuitive and um this is uh, relates to our brain's frontal lobe and it's often said that people with a lot of dynamo energy have their heads in the clouds okay they're besides being creative and intuitive they're they're not very organized sometimes and they're not very social those are not their strengths um people with a lot of dynamo energy have uh sometimes they're forgetful sometimes they miss some details but it doesn't matter that much to them because what's important to them is their creativity and their innovation and their freedom that's and and they don't mind ma missing a detail or or going from one innovation to the next okay that's that is actually exciting to them and fun um, when they excel, they're best at answering the question, what? Okay, like what, what is, uh, what's the answer? You know, what's, what's the solution to our problem? That's the kind of energy that the dynamo uh, carries. Now where the test you just took has only the four energies that are around, um, like the four directions of a compass. So we have, it would be dynamo at the top, blaze on the right. Uh, the bottom one is cut off. Maybe you can might not, let me see if I can hide that. The bottom one is called tempo in the south. And then the one on the west or the left of the image is steel. 
And um, so those are the four main energies. And then you see there are four ad additional energies on the corners, and those are where the main energies blend. Okay, so we're not going to look at those sort of blended energies today, but just that we'll focus on the four main ones. So I described dynamo, the green one. Let's look at the red one. So we go around clockwise. That's blaze. And it's the energy of fire and summer. Okay. And this is the energy of our brain's right hemisphere, our extrovert side. And it's the energy of relationships and leadership and connection with people. And it's, on the other hand, it's not very good at following numbers or planning things. Okay. People who have a lot of blaze energy, they often change their focus and they don't like to be stuck in office. They rather be able to get out and just be where the people are, meet the people, um, get things happening, get, have, they, they thrive on fun and variety. Okay. When the, the blaze energy excels, um, these people are looking at the question of who, like, who is the best at this job? Who can get this done? Who do I need to know? Uh, that kind of thing. Okay. Now going, continuing around the clock and the south, south position at the tempo energy, this is, th relates to the autumn and it also relates to the senses and to timing. Uh, and in our brain, it's the uh, temporal lobes. And it's often said that people who have a lot of the tempo energy have their ear to the ground or they have a, a, a great sense of timing. Uh, they also have a lot of perseverance and people think of them as being very calm and grounded. They don't like being forceful uh, or politically involved. They they love doing customer service and making sure people are well cared for and they're happy to take their time and be extra careful. When they excel, they're best at answering the question when or where. Okay. And then continuing around the clock to look at the steel energy. That's the energy of metal and winter. And it's the energy of our brain's left hemisphere, our introvert side. And this is the energy of systems and data and details and internal analysis. And it's not very good at the social skills or picking up on people's subtle cues. People who have a lot of steel energy are, they often prefer to work alone. And they like to stay focused in finding smarter ways to do things. And when they excel, they are best at answering the question of how. Okay. So let's see how this, how does this apply to nursing? And um, I'm really curious to see what G energy profiles you each had. When I get to the chat, I'm looking forward to that. I, I, um, of course these nursing, um, leaders that are on the screen, I, I don't know if they've done this genius test. If they have, I certainly don't know what their results were, but I have, um, picked my guess of what their energy might be just to give you some examples. So the first one for the dynamo, uh, I chose Martha Rogers because she was such a visionary and, um, other examples of dynamo genius are Albert Einstein and Richard Branson. These people are, have a lot of ideas and they're willing to really follow their ideas, even if they're different, completely different from what of the way other people see things. Moving to the right, then I chose Jean Watson to exemplify the blaze genius. People with blaze energy are very people smart and they love people. Uh, other examples are Marilyn Monroe and Oprah and Winfrey. Okay. They're very inspiring people. And I see Jean as an example of being very inspiring. And then 
moving around clockwise, uh, we'll go to tempo next. And I chose Ernest Grant as an example of tempo energy. This energy is grounded. It's very sustaining. It looks after people's safety and comfort. And other examples are Nelson Mandela and Mother Teresa. And then the last of these four examples, the steel genius, um, I chose Charlene Platten, who is uh, very innovative. She's one of the fellows with Johnson & Johnson uh, innovation uh, program. And she uh, has developed, uh, she's developed an app for nurse wellness called Fifth Window. And um, so genius energy is really can take on the details. A lot of times um, they develop technical expertise and um, they're, they're able to maybe take what the other energies have done and then refine it by looking at the details and the data and making it better. So I hope you enjoyed those de those uh, examples. And if you have questions, jot them down so that when I come on live, I can, you know, we can talk about them. Now, this slide shows you some energy profile examples from real people that I know. And I brought this in to, to give you a little more depth to this information. Now, the test that you took only identifies just in general, very general terms, you know, what your most predominant energy is. But you can take another test that has a cost to it, and I'll tell you about that at the end, and it will give you a lot more detail. And so these grids came from the more detailed test. Um, and the one, so you can see that how every person has some of all the energies, but we, most of us have one or two energies that we have more of than the others. So for example, let's look at this one in the upper left. This is my en energy, this one, yeah, right here where my mouse is, the upper left corner. So I have a lot of dynamo or creative energy, and I also have a quite a bit of, uh, on the left, on that left side, that's the introverted side. You can see I have a lot more on the left side of the axis than I do on the right. I'm, I'm, I'm very introverted and, um, I like to work alone. Um, you know, I care about people. I like people, but as far as doing my best, it's, the majority of my energy is on that left side of the uh, north and south axis there. Now let's look at the next person going over clockwise to the right. That person has almost all, most of her energy is below the middle axis. Um, so, so I should let you know that the vertical axis is splits the two halves uh, between introverted and extroverted. And then the horizontal axis splits the grid in two halves with um, thinking is above the middle, is in the upper half of the chart and then sensing and being in our bodies is in the lower half of the chart. And so um, uh, this is a chart of actually my assistant in my business. And so we fit well together because I have most of mine. If you look at my profile, it's mostly above the horizontal line and hers is mostly below. So she has strengths in areas that I don't and I have strengths in areas that she doesn't. And so we fit very well to, uh, as long as we remember to honor, you know, each other's strengths and differences. Okay. That's the key to collaborating with people that have different energy than ours, isn't it? And then I just have the other two uh, to show you an example. Um, if you go continuing around clockwise, that lower right one has, the person has almost all of their energy is in that blaze side. So they're super brilliant with working with people, being inspiring and um, uh, leading people 
collaborating with people. That's where their gifts are. And that, but as far as handling details, they have very little on that steel side, okay? Or even on the grounded side of the tempo or the creative side of the dynamo. So their brilliance is in the, um, in that, in the people skills. And then the last one in the lower left, this one is a little bit more balanced in some ways, but um, it's a little unusual in that it's almost like an hourglass where it's very sort of less energy on the left and right, but most energy on the above and below. Okay, so this person can have the creative ideas and be grounded with them somewhat, although they're mostly, obviously, they're mostly with the creativity. So, um, okay, that's, that's just some examples for you to see how it actually works. So love to hear what you discovered. I encourage you to type in the chat. Uh, what are your thoughts about this? Do you see value in learning about this? How might it serve you in your professional life and in your personal life, in your relationships at home and at work? love for you to type in your response to this. Okay. And go ahead and type in your questions too, if you want to, because I'll be looking at them live when we're um, together and then I can answer them when the recording is over. <clears throat> now this ties into another aspect of our life and um, it's so important, again, both at work and at home, and that is trust and integrity. Now, you know that nurses have been chosen by the public um, as the most trusted professionals in the U.S. for the last 20 years. That, that is huge. <clears throat> um, and that's not just health professionals. That's all professionals. I think... The second is maybe firefighters and then doctors are somewhere in the top four or five. Um, but nurses are number one and have been consistently number one ever since was, uh, first the, the poll was first started. So it's, of course, why is that? I would say it's because of our nursing code of ethics and that we all, the majority, vast majority of us have a, real solid commitment to following our code of ethics um, and uh, having integrity. We're also there to, for service to people. That's our number one reason of being, doing what we do, no matter where we work as a nurse. However, that can cause us a lot of internal conflict at times. I don't even need to belabor that. We all know have we all have zillions of examples for that so i bring this up because as we get to as we get to know our flow archetype or our um our energy profile and begin to really practice being in alignment with it and then mastering those skills that are supported by our energy it actually strengthens not only does it bring out the best in us and, and we do our best, but we also become um, more trustworthy for other people, the people we want to serve, both employers and customers or clients or patients. And we also, it helps us trust ourselves, okay, because, and have integrity with ourself, because when we're in alignment with our natural energy we're going to be likely to be doing what is meaningful, like, like what has a meaning for us, not, and not in conflict with ourself. So I guess I'll pause here and give you an example of what I'm talking about. Um, you saw my genius little grid. And so it was strong in dynamo, the creative side. And also, but it's, it's, was peaked at that one of those, at one of those corners that I haven't talked about. That particular corner is a blend of the creative and the detail oriented or the 
introverted side, a side that has a natural affinity for systems. And I, um, really that's been in my, in the back, uh, like not evident to me <laughs> until I took this test a few years ago as an entrepreneur. Now, the more detailed test that I mentioned to you is called Wealth Dynamics Test, and it's developed for entrepreneurs, although anyone can take it and get a benefit. So I took it as an entrepreneur and uh, looking at uh, developing a new business and realized that I had been, I had had a, a judgment about myself my whole, my whole nursing career. I had thought that, you know, nurses, since I'm a nurse, I needed to be like an archetypal nurse, which I saw was very people oriented, very, um, connective with people, um, all those things on that blaze side of the wheel or the square. And I care about people a great deal and I like people and all that, but it drains me. It drains the life out of me to be around too many people and especially when they are, have high needs. And so it, it causes me a lot of stress to be work, to work in a hospital. Um, I only worked in a hospital two years coming out of school. I, then I went to community health and was home, did home care for a few years. I, then I took some time off, had my daughter and then went back into, I thought, well, I'll try long-term care, you know, did that for, for quite a number of years in several different locations. And it was extremely stressful for me. But what I liked in those jobs was making the systems. Okay. That was really exciting to me, energizing to me. And I was always able to make improvements in making the systems. I didn't put any of that together because I didn't know about these energy archetypes. Okay. But when a couple years ago, when I ran across them and I saw, Oh, my, my energy is, it's called a mechanic in this system. And at first I thought, Ooh, a mechanic. Uh, I, I didn't relate to that. But the more I let myself just relax, just kind of sink into reading about this archetype and what they did, what they're good at, and who else has that, that energy, I could see, oh, you know what? I have been, I have those gifts and I haven't been using them properly. Okay. Because, I, because they weren't, con I wasn't conscious of them. So I couldn't lean into them and go with them. And I was always kind of criticized, thinking something was wrong with me, that I wasn't energized by that blaze type of being that blaze type of nurse that had all the people skills and was really in love with all that people connection. So the thing is, the world needs all of us with all of our different energy blueprints. And we need to be able to be in a position where we do our best. So that's why I'm so excited to give you this tool today. So let's keep going on a little bit more of it. Oh, and I want to share with you, sorry, your PDF, if you haven't uh, printed it out yet, your PDF that goes with this workshop gives you more information about um, what I'm sharing today. Okay. Um, so there's actually two PDFs that go with this workshop. If you take the quiz, you'll get a PDF from the company that made the quiz. And then I have a PDF for you even, so that you'll have the main information, even if you don't decide to take the quiz right away. Okay. You'll have the link for the quiz and you'll have the information about the archetypes and the examples and all in the PDF I gave you. Okay. Now let's move on to a little bit more. So this next section of information also comes from Genius U, which is um, an online education platform for um, entrepreneurs that was started by Roger James Hamilton. And it's really has phenomenal ed education uh, available. 
for people who want to be entrepreneurs. It's a global platform. It started in Singapore and is slowly moving itself, uh, its influence west. So it's just come to the US in the last couple years. And I think you're going to be hearing more about it soon. Um, they, they have, uh, besides online education, they also have physical locations where entrepreneurs can physically get together and um, collaborate and, and learn. So this is a little bit of philosophy from Genius U. And it, it all is still founded in the Chinese I Ching. So this first part is about showing up. Okay. And so this is how to, once you've identified your energy, then you want to apply it. You want to take action. So there are three steps in this broad framework. The first one is to show up. Okay. So you've got clarity about who you are and where you are, and then you want to get clarity about where you're going. Okay. So Rogers developed some questions and he asks himself these questions every day. And I think it's a great idea. I honestly haven't start gotten a habit yet, but I'm, I'm working on that. Uh, since I have that dynamo, I'm energy is my primary energy. I'm not really great at setting up habits, but I'm working on that because I think these are great. So let's take a minute right now and I'm going to pause talking so that you can drop in to yourself and reflect on these three questions. Okay. And just make notes for yourself. Three questions that will help you show up. And if you, the idea is if you think of these each day, maybe before you get out of bed, just while your mind is quiet, ask yourself, what am I grateful for? Who do I love? And why am I so happy? And then the second step is a part of this. We started with show up and then the next action is to step up. So step up means we get connected to the resources that are available to us and we collaborate with others. And I forgot to mention on the show up, it, this is related to philanthro philanthropy or the love of humanity. Okay, we want to show up out of our love for people. And then we want to step up out of our love for wisdom. And there are a couple questions that will help you step up. What am I committed to? And how committed am I? So take a moment. I invite you to take a moment to just reflect on those. Maybe jot some notes for yourself. When I have done this exercise, it, I have always found it to be very illuminating. Now the third action, we've had show up, step up, and then give back. Okay. And this returns us back to the philanthropy aspect of our love of people. So we give back through contributing. And also it returns us to clarity of who we are and where we are on our, on our path. And the three questions to help you give back are right here. Take a moment and uh, reflect on at least one of these, if you would.
each of these three are super powerful questions. So even if you only do one of these in the mornings, I'm, I feel certain that it will be beneficial. So this slide shows all three action steps together. And this is also in the PDF that you get from Genius U. So you'll have it for reference. And if you be willing to, I would be very interested to see um, if you'd like to share in the chat some of the reflection that you've had on any of those questions. It would be great if, if several of you would do that because I know we'd all benefit from seeing the kinds of things that came up for you when you reflect. Show up, step up, and give back. And this star in the center represents the four energies from the energy profiles, blaze, tempo, steel, and dynamo. And then the blue circle is the fifth energy of water, and that represents spirit that flows through all. So in your handout, you'll find I've given you this list of references and resources. The first one is called the Clifton Strengths Survey. It's $20, and it's the most um, well-researched and validated psychometric personality test that I know of on the market. Um, it's just been very highly validated and it's um, researched and it's good for both individuals and teams. You do, they do have two versions. You have to buy each version separately. Um, but it's owned by the Gallup company now that does, um, you know, polling the Gallup surveys. So that's the first one. The second one is called Contribution Compass Profile Test. It's developed for teams. It's $97. And I have, can give you a discount code for $50 off. If you'd like to have that, just contact me. Um, then I have given you my reference for the information about the major personality perspectives that I used earlier. And the final one is the Wealth Dynamics Profile Test for entrepreneurs that I mentioned is like the Genius Test. It's done by the same company, but it gives you a lot more depth and detail about your profile. And it's also $97, and I can give you a discount code for $50 off on that one if you contact me. And so uh, this is then how to contact me. My company is named New Directions for Nurses. You can find us on Facebook uh, under that name. We have, have both a page and a group at Facebook. On Instagram, we're at linked at Liberated Nurse. That is our my main project name in my business. Um, we're all about helping nurses use their gifts and their experience and their energy, uh, their energy profile to bring their gifts to the world and uh, be profitable, thriving entrepreneurs. And so um, our website is liber liberatednurse.com and we offer a nurse entrepreneur starter kit course there. It's a home study course for $1. And then uh, you can also contact me through LinkedIn or see my videos on YouTube. And I just realized I don't have my email address here but on the slide, but it is in the PDF um, that came with this workshop. Okay. So I am going to now end the video and I'll be here live to answer questions and to see what kinds of things you've put in the chat. Okay.